the hedgerow. Hello there, plant-loving family. Hello, hello. Us humans love systems. We have a need to organise taxonomy, the naming of things, generally classifying and putting things together neatly. We have a need to organise things so that we can understand them better. And the ways that which we do this change over time with different trends, theories and with scientific development. At one time, the separation between the heavens and earth was porous. And it was commonly believed that what happened in the stars governed what happened on terra firma. Macrocosm, microcosm. As above, so below. In addition to predicting meteorological events and guiding business decisions, astrology was used as a tool for both treatment and diagnosis of health complaints. Using the stars in medicine is an ancient practice, which reached its epitome in Europe in the late medieval, 1450 AD onwards, and the early modern periods, 1700 AD. In the 1600s, a rebel herbalist named Nicholas Culpepper published his Complete Herbal, the first book on plant medicine written in English over Latin, making the system of astrological herbalism medicine accessible to common people. The plants are best place to tell us a little more. Let's meet a couple of herbs classified under the domain of planet Mars, the Red Planet. Mars is connected to the god of war and governs many herbs. Herbs of Mars are often a little more direct, a little sharper and more assertive than some of the other plants. Mars is the planet connected to assertion, leadership, action and passion. By nature, the herbs classified under the domain of Mars are energetically strong and considered hot lively and dry. Hey. If I were a nettle, I might say to you, I am nettle invading your spaces. I am fiery, strong, and I instill fear into the hearts of men. Touch me, if you dare. I'm in fairy tales, I am. Have you ever heard of the wild swans? Stolen from a graveyard at midnight, I was, and woven into fabric to make shirts. There are others I know that people think of as prickly and thorny, clear and direct, straight to the point, no beating around the bush. Oh me? Yes, you, Hawthorn. It's heart-strengthening courage I bring, a directive energy. I support you with willpower and to truly believe in yourself. Through me, you can learn and explore to not blindly rush ahead, but to wait for the perfect moment to make your dreams into practical, practical reality. I connect you with your passion and give you the ability to recognise your desires and the courage to make them real. I'm not lacking in courage, warrior of Mars am I. Active and highly trained. Training is everything. Being prepared is key. We are the soldiers at the field edges, holding strong. We have no leader in this military style operation, more a democratic army gained through mutual respect and training. Some say that we are utopian. Some say that we're elitist. What we are is efficient and unafraid. Together we are strong. My bright yellow roots help me to travel, to radiate out. They grow close to the surface, gifting me the ability to take space. You humans gather my roots. You collect them and chop them up and make them into remedies for prostate troubles. 
Oh yes, I can vouch for that. I see you and your protective plant armies always growing together, round field edges or underneath my hedgerows. I grow together too with my other hawthorn trees. Protective plant hedgerow barriers. I also grow alone, often found on the moorlands or on a hillside, battered by the weather, seemingly standoffish as I'd had to learn to survive so long all alone. In the hedgerows we are often planted closely together. Our thorn hedges are impossible to penetrate, but we are full of love and care if you just want to come round and call us for a chat. Nettle and I are Martian plant Aye. friends, holding boundaries, holding edges. I am home to ladybirds and caterpillars, and I am home to fairy folk. Fairies, you say? Ooh. I am a portal. Many a human has looked deep within my branches to meet the fairy folk. A great wizard of the British Isles taught them the ways, and now they can often be found staring deep within my branches. At first it felt a little exposing. Whoa, the fairy realm! A shift in consciousness. My own stings can do that. Inject a little fairy realm. Have you ever fallen into a nettle patch? An initiation. Altered perceptions through pain. Complete shift in consciousness. Ah, yes. Your sting and my fractal branches. Altered states are never far away. Olwyn, a Welsh goddess, walked through an empty universe at the beginning of time. Where her feet stepped, she left a train of hawthorn petals, which became the Milky Way. The old pagan fire festival of Beltane, traditionally on May Day, has association with hawthorn. The tree is known as Mayflower and blossoms in this month. Dancing around the Maypole is an old tradition in which people have worn hawthorn blossom crowns for hundreds of years. The blooms have a strong smell about them, a putrid scent, and there are many stories and superstitions of awful luck befalling those who bring the flowers indoors into the home. Death is said to surely follow. The truth to this old bit of folklore is that the compound that makes the blossom smell is chemically identical to the smell of rotting meat. The tree utilizes this scent to attract carrion-loving insects, flies, to pollinate the flowers. These same flowers contain other compounds which improve the strength of the heart and the movement of blood through the body. My leaves are known by countryside folk as bread and cheese containing all you need to survive. It's also said that they dull the appetite, so the workers used to eat them at lunchtime to satiate them until tea time. <laughs> but you'll soon know a sharp prick if you've harvested too much of my fruit or leaves from my spiky barbs. And my fierce sting Everybody knows my fierce sting. You've all been injected with a compound mix of plant chemicals from my hairs, fine like syringes. Bringing redness and heat, pumping your blood around your body, my stings do. I am fine circulatory medicine ruled by the planet Mars, hot and dry. And interestingly, I actually heal lots of hot and dry conditions myself. My pulped up leaves used as a poultice on your stings. My own stings can help to heal. Draw on me where there's redness or inflammation, oh. eczema, dermatitis, rhinitis or any of the itises. Call on me! My tea helps calm the histamine reaction of hay fever and dries up snot. Ooh. I help your heart to beat a little stronger. 
stronger, not faster. I'm a friend to the broken hearted, helping them to move through their pain. I help heart health in all ways with my clever compounds, flavonoids they call them. Flavonoids are antioxidants. They're what make my berries red and me so good for you. Both me and Hawthorne helped her move the blood around the body. Fine circulatory medicine. I also helped her build the blood and nourish it. Just like Mars, I'm full of iron, which helps your blood get full of oxygen. We give people a boost, full power. Us nettles are the strongest alteratives known in herbal medicine, blood cleansing. That's what alterative means. And we also make a delicious, mm, nutritious springtime soup out of our fresh growth tips. Ah! Nettle's tips are densely nutritious, packed with minerals. Nettle leaf is greatly supportive to the kidneys and is a wonderfully cleansing herb. This common herb can strike fear into the hearts of folk. Fear of pain from the hardcore stings. Roman soldiers use nettles as whips for self-flagellation, a form of heroic medicine. They were said to whip aching joints after days of marching. The stings induce an inflammatory reaction, aiding with relaxation and healing of tired, torn muscles. Oh. It can be great fun to get the family together to go out and identify and harvest the nettles for your own food and medicine. Maybe leave the self-torture to the Romans and wear gloves. They make soup from you. They make ketchup from my berries. Put me on their dinner. Your berries are delicious, Hawthorn. You can eat my seeds too. Some of our summer flowers provide pollen and fertilise the others among us. Nettles waving in the late summer and autumnal winds. Pregnant with cascades of darkening seeds. Goading you to come nearer and create a strengthening tonic from our oily, restorative seeds. After a good graze on my seeds, you feel charged and ready for action. As nourishing as my cousin hemp seeds, but I'm abundantly available and completely free for you to pick. Each and every nettle in existence works with their siblings to form harmonious relationships. We strengthen one another and protect each other from predators. We form barriers, barricades. We can be turned into string, rope, clothes and food and medicine. We fear nothing and we can dance all night long. Thanks to these two herbs of Mars, the nettle and the hawthorn for featuring in this video. And we hope that you can get out and about in the hedgerow and make friends with these two commonly growing hedgerow herbs. Nature's stories are right to be told. And we've unearthed a forgotten language. It's both ancient and evolving. This earth needs secret heroes. Why not start being a secret hero in a hedgerow near you, or maybe at home with some kitchen witching? And follow some of the accompanying recipes in the PDF. You can find the links below. Or above? Or over there? Or is it over there? Bye! Thanks to you, plant loving family. Bye bye. Voices from the hedgerow are welcoming. Hear our voices from the hedgerow You need never be alone Don't mind that we might scratch or sting Cause that's just what we do We will shelter you and cheer you We will feed you, we will heal you Nettles stand in legion strong Can you hear our marching song? We sing a fire of fight and fear So touch us only if you dare But we can make a stout cloth shirt And drain the heat from every hurt 
A caterpillar summer treat And autumn seeds for birds to eat Where hawthorn wizards we guard our fields Together we are strong as steel We're field mages, wise and tough We're made of the sternest stuff And we are where the fairy folk Tell the tales of ash and oak Look close, you'll glimpse their shimmering wings Hear song spells only fairies sing Voices from the hedgerow Are welcoming you home Hear our voices from the hedgerow You need never be alone Don't mind that we might scratch or sting Cause that's just what we do We will shelter you and cheer you We will feed you, we will heal you